thesmartlocal.com Okay, so today we're here at NTU. This is Kai Ying, she's from eBook. She's the head of eBook, right? Yeah. So, today's reviews are all going to be damn legit. Please uh, share with them, introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Kai Ying. I manage eBook and I graduated from NTU two years ago. I used to study comms and making weed. Okay, so the first stop is the Hive, which is here. Have you been here before? No, this didn't exist when I was here. So, let's Okay, love. so the first one we both never tried before. Let's go! Very first location, the first dish we're gonna try is Tom Yum Spaghetti. Sounds damn good, I love fusion dishes. So today we're gonna try a Thai Western fusion. It's a Tom Yum seafood pasta from the Hive. And we're gonna see whether it tastes as good as it smells. Damn, eat book hosting. Nice. Can you just try it? We do magic. We just hit the table. Then leave your hand there. Safe first, right? No need, just hit oh. the table. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> damn chowdy. Okay, so there's like... The muscle is ah. damn big. Yeah, I know. I've been working out, so... Right. So it's a seafood tom yum spaghetti. Mm. They're um, like prawns and squid and one dry mussel. Instantly value for money. Aesthetics wise, pretty decent. Mm. And the pasta is like them a lot. Wow, shit! <laughs> it's damn spicy! They're not the best spicy. Hey, no, no, no. Every very spicy. Bang, <laughs> spicy, yeah. Spicy. Oh, it's nice, nice, nice. To me, it's not fantastic. I I I buy instant noodle with a tom yum instant noodle. Yeah, tastes it like does that. taste like that. Yeah, it tastes like the tom yum instant noodle. Huh? <laughs> That's what. I think the spices add good kick to the meal, but the saltiness is a bit overwhelming for me, and you can taste the MSG in this. So I wouldn't eat this on a, like a daily basis, but once in a while, I'll give myself a treat. I'm trying to explain to them what is YouTube because they're asking what we're doing. Then I don't know how to explain YouTube in Chinese. Actually, what is YouTube in Chinese? You know not. Yeah, if any no. of you all know what is YouTube in Chinese, can you please put it in the comments down below? Oh, it's a mystery. Eh. Ni ni tube ni tube. Eh. Okay, so this is location number two. The recommended stuff is set C, which is the traditional toast. I'm I'm guessing the smoked duck pasta and the kaki puyong. Yeah, let's go with breakfast okay, since it's still yeah. early and this is only the second location. So disappear plates. Yeah. It's like them soft already. Yeah, eh. wow, I'm bad. I think the proportion is a bit off. Eh. I cannot taste the kaya at all. Eh. This looks like they did it for the previous customer, then the customer never take. Then they just give me. What's that sound? Oh, by the way, they play bird sounds to scale birds. You see all the speakers? They play bird Oh my god, it's fake bird sounds. Yeah. Okay, next. Should we try the fuyong? Let's go. Kaki fuyong. The egg is damn thick. Eh? Nice, huh? Not bad, right? Trying the chicken now. Nope. Nope. Oh, chicken that's tough. Yeah. But egg It's like they pre fry it, then they leave it there for very long, right? Not crispy. Okay. Okay, last last dish, last dish. Okay, so this is the smoked duck pasta. How much is it? Is it cheap? 3.30 only. Oh, young eh. School food really damn cheap eh. Yeah. You know that carbonara is supposed to be just not egg, right? Yeah. Oh, very disappointing eh. Okay, kind of duck. Oh, no, it's actually quite nice. Mm. You can really taste the duck flavor. <laughs> But then the pasta is just horrible. So we're heading to Crescent Hall. That's our next location. And we're going to be trying Thai food there. Nice. Okay. Crescent Hall is closed. Oh my god, we walked so far. Um, so the next location that we're going to have to head to is Canteen Number. Huh? Two? But two is not on the list. Oh yeah, it is on the list. Okay, canteen number two. <laughs> That's where her favorite Xiao Long Bao's are. Hopefully it's open. Okay, 
So basically the Ayam Penyet store here is the it's called Indonesian Express, right? So it's basically the same as the ones that we found in previous uh, schools. So instead this time we're going for the Dory fish because apparently the Dory here is more popular than the rest. Uh, we have the Xiao Long Pao's here already. Okay, okay, we just try this first while we wait for the Ayam. I mean while we wait for the Dory. Okay. Let's try it. Yes. I, I totally wasn't expecting the soup to be so legit. Oh, that's the dory fish. The difference between this and like maybe the outside long pao rice is the skin is a bit thicker and chewier. But then inside, right, the soup is really like it's filled to the brim with soup. And the soup is made of the pork lard kind. It's the legit kind. Mm. Damn thick. The flavor is so rich, right? Wow. And the amount of meat filling, right, is just nice. So it's not like overwhelming gelat or like anything. So it's like it goes very well with the chewy skin. Now I, I suddenly now I'm alive again. Oh my god, this one, this one really can fight you those like Din Tai Fung or this, you know. What time were you born? 8.34 Which is your favourite family member? My mum Do you love boys? Okay, booms. Now we got the dory fish here Wow, look at the fish You know when that hotline bling That can only mean one thing This is like another level of fish and chips though The skin is like crispy and the inside is like moist and it's amazing eh, it packs a punch man Oh it's fantastic eh The inside right, the fish right, is very very soft and flaky Oh my god it's so good I've never tasted fish like this before Cause every time we touch, I get this feeling It's very moist as well, it's not like dry or tough Yeah, wow okay okay, this, this is like the turning point for me at NTU Questions round! My turn. <laughs> Favourite food in the world? Sushi. Who is one person in TSL you hate the most? Jamie. You do one other person's job in TSL, whose job would it be? Your job. Because you get to run around a lot. I think you all do a lot of creative planning. If there's one full timer that you can have on ebook team, who would it be? Joyce. Why? She writes very well. The scale or 1 to 10, how much do you like this food hunt? 10 upon 10 because I get to spend time with John. Because <laughs> every time we touch, I get this feeling. Okay, the recommended dish here is tonkotsu ramen. And we got a black garlic one. Wow. Just to see what it actually tastes like. It comes with char siu and two okay parts of an egg. The egg look a bit overdone. You know, because it's supposed to be less than this. You know what I mean? So what's the right way to, to, to sample something like this? Uh, a dish that's so complex and so many like elements to it. Maybe I'll just try the different ones. Never have thought of that. It's like quite creamy, but then the taste is not strong. The uh, longer two flavor is definitely yeah. there. You're not trying to noodle. It doesn't have a nice bounce to it, right? Yeah, it's just nice mushy. Yeah, I think it's quite like soggy with you. Mm. I think the meat is like the most important. Wow, look at this. Or almost lah. Like. You know what? Okay. You know, no, it's overdone. For like pork belly kind, right? you need to have it right? when you put it in your mouth, right? The fatty part melts in your mouth. Okay, so now we're at canteen 14 And we're having a dry ban mian Dry ban mian It's only $3 And it's like quite a lot of noodles and it comes with a bowl of soup Okay, let's go The only difference between ban mian, yu mian and all this is the shape, right? Yeah, ban mian is like flat Yu mian is like rounder Mmm Oh my god But the sauce is like very savoury The texture is just like, like chewy and Q A bit like pasta Q? Cause every time we touch, I get this feeling I think it's very nice. There's a there's a there's an extra kick from like the, the extra ingredients like this, the fried mm. spring onions or something like that that really gives it an extra a very interesting flavor. And it's not too dry. Then you eat with like the ikan bilis alright. Then you should. What's the name of the first girl you ever liked? Rebecca, K1 or K2. Which colleague are you the closest to? Q and Anson. You must choose one. Q. Do you think Julian will ever become famous? No. Well, who do you think get married first in video team? Xenia. Who in TSL will you bring home to share a mother? You. Why? Just say, hey, interesting woman. Okay, 
Okay, so Kai Ying is from ebook, right? She's the head of ebook. And this whole episode, we've been trusting her opinions, right? Yeah. Her reviews. Turns out, right, she doesn't even eat mala. What's this? Okay, so we're down to our last and final location. This is the most recommended dish from all the like, like YouTube comments, Instagram comments and all that kind of thing. So I'm really excited to try this. Okay. We got a xiao la. Xiao la. Zaku la le. What the hell, John? The meat cannot chew. I thought I was going to die for a moment. <laughs> Take two, let's go. It's very mild eh. This is not what I expected mala to be like at all. No, I don't, okay, I'm going to try the noodle. Because the noodle should soak up most of the flavor. So I should be able to get a better gauge here. Okay, okay, try the glass noodle. Because the glass noodle soaks up all the flavor, so you really get a good idea of what it's supposed to taste like. And it's not bad. What's interesting, I think, I, I don't know whether other places do this, but I think for them, they added a bit of ginger. Mm. So I like I like that. I think we made a mistake ordering the tom yum. Maybe. You eat a bit more. You usually okay, eat okay. a bit already, right? Then, then it starts to, the effects start to kick in. 2,000 years later. It's still not very strong, eh? I think in general, I will still eat this, lah. Anyway, so we've come to the end of another food hunt, right? At NTU, uh, which was your favourite dish? My favourite is, it was and still is a salong pao Because I think it's really very legit and very cheap for something that you can find in school I think mine was the dory lah That one really takes the cake Okay, yeah. is that ebook? Okay. E -book. Do, do, do ebook writers use that? Yeah Really? Yeah Then they will like put like bracket pun not intended but intended but not intended that kind of thing um, okay, so how was the food hunt experience for you? Mm, I didn't expect it so much eh. It's like, I'm so full it's under here. It's mad right? Yeah. And, and you don't think, when you watch, you think like not so difficult right? But actually it's a lot of food. Yeah. Okay, so in the next episode, we're going to be heading to SMU. But I know that SMU doesn't really have a lot, a lot of food. Yeah. So if you guys have any suggestions for food that's around the area or within the school, you can leave a suggestion in the comments down below. And yeah, please recommend good stuff. Like I really like the Igbo food, okay? Okay, Kai, take it away. Guys, remember to like, share, subscribe, and check out our old videos over there. Bye! Bye!